The priesthood is a wonderful gift, and I am extremely happy to be a priest. I'm just extremely grateful to God and thankful for this, this wonderful, grace-filled vocation. So I think the real word would be surreal. It's, it's very surreal to be, to be a priest. For the past eight years, I've been preparing for the life that I'm living now, and really longer than my years of eight years of seminary. The seminary helped me to develop a regular habit of prayer. As a priest, you don't have the privilege of what we would call the horarium in the seminary, the daily schedule, where, okay, you wake up and now this time is dedicated to prayer, then you have your classes, then you have your meals, then you have some time to do homework, then you have prayer again. There's not a regimented schedule in the priesthood like there was in the seminary. So I think that is the greatest way that seminary prepared me for the priesthood, by helping me to develop that habit of prayer and instilling in me a sense that prayer is essential to living a good priestly life. Besides the offering of the Mass every day, which is where I feel the most like a priest, because that is what a priest does primarily, I think the times where I feel most fulfilled are those times where I am called to the deathbed. And I've had those experiences several times already as a priest, where someone is dying, and they're only going to be alive for a couple hours or a couple days, and the family called the priest, because they know the priest is the one that can give the grace that no one else can give, he can give the sacrament of the sick, and he can give absolution. And so it's been a great blessing to be called to the bedside of several dying people to bring them the sacraments of salvation, to bring them the Lord's presence in their lives at that pivotal moment in their life when they transition from this life to the next. I still think the biggest challenge is not being able to get to know my parishioners and to be a part of their, their lives in the way that I thought. But I think God is using this time to teach me about what's the most important thing about being a priest, which is praying for my people. And I'm still able to offer the Mass every day, to offer Masses on the weekends for the people who truly desire to be at Mass and to pray. I would tell them to not ignore the call. Don't ignore it. Talk about it. First of all, pray about it. So talk with God about it. But also find a good mentor, a good priest mentor, whom you can talk to about this feeling that you have in your heart. Because it very well could be God calling you to the priesthood. And then don't be afraid. Um, there are many challenges in the world today that make it difficult to be a priest. But the church needs priests. The church needs heroic priests, men who will lay down their lives and take up their crosses and follow the Lord. Because now more than ever, the gospel needs to be preached and the sacraments need to be administered. And that is the primary function of the priest, to preach the gospel and to administer the sacraments. And so we need, the church desperately needs men to be brave and to lay down their lives for the sake of the gospel, to serve God, to serve his people in the church. So be courageous, don't be afraid.